Hey there guys, welcome to Arsenal Fan TV. This is the review of Arsenal's home defeat to Watford. Making these videos is just becoming all the more depressing as each game goes by, to be honest. We haven't looked at all good since we beat Leicester 2-1 at home. Danny Welbeck with the last gasp winner. And today we've crashed out of what was potentially our last remaining chance of picking up some silverware this season. There's nine games left to go in the Premier League. whoop de doo that's fantastic. But does that honestly look like a title-winning team based on today's performance? So let's just stop talking about there being nine games left because, you know, there could be 100 games left. If we keep putting in these kind of performances, we don't stand a chance. We have no chance whatsoever. And you can forget making up an eight-point deficit because that's not going to happen. We don't look like a team that's capable of doing it at the moment. Who knows? Maybe Wenger will prove me wrong. But based on today's performance, really doesn't look like it. And as far as I'm concerned, with Arsene Wenger, it is becoming more and more like a nail in the coffin situation because he is losing fans as every game goes goes on. The last convincing performance we had was ages ago, ages ago. I mean, apart from a couple of good games this season against the likes of Manchester United, etc., we haven't looked at all good. That, let's be honest, this season has been you know, fueled by mediocrity. We've been abysmal for the most part. In what was our best chance to win the Premier League title, we're losing out on it to the likes of Spurs and Leicester, which is unforgivable. Uh, didn't really have much of a realistic chance for the Champions League as it was. But to go into this FA Cup game against Watford at home, to not win that, I mean, it's not... It's not a lot to ask in what was you know a beacon of light out of what was a disappointing season. I mean, this would have been uh, potentially a third successive FA Cup win. It would have taken us another trip to Wembley, albeit what has happened in the league has been incredibly underwhelming, but at least we'd have had that to cling on to a potential FA Cup win under our belts. Third successive time, that would have been phenomenal for us. But now this season, as far as I'm concerned, is over um it's just it kind of feels like another one bites the dust in a way it's, it's so similar to those kind of seasons we were having about four or five years ago over the past decade really apart from the two that we had in the recent years which have been filled with so much promise we head into this season and it's same old same old i mean I, I don't know what to say about it to be honest because it just feels like we've taken a step backwards as opposed to a step forwards we bought in the likes of czech alexi sanchez mazozul but I mean, the players around them, they don't look at the same level as those kind of players. And it really is you know, a constant source of frustration that this team isn't evolving, isn't developing. And you kind of got to bring it down to one thing, and that is the manager, because he's not progressing in the way that we want to want, we want, we want to see the club develop. Because it's, um, you know, I don't really know what else to say on the matter. It is really one hell of a debacle that we've got with Arsene Wenger now. And, you know, I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't really know what else to say about the guy. I'm, I can't really defend him in this instance. But... Relating back to today's game, it was a rather exciting team that Arsene Wenger put out. I mean, just getting away from Arsene Wenger for one second, the players have got to take a hell of a lot of responsibility because uh, when we saw that lineup, it was a really exciting one. It was filled with talent. We saw Mazza Ozil start, Alexis Sanchez start, start, Joel Campbell and Olivier Giroud retain their places in the side. Francis Coughlin and Nene in the midfield. The defence always looked rusty. And the only player that I think can leave the game, game with their head held high today is Kieran Gibbs, putting yet another sublime performance. Um, but in that first half, you know, it, it looked all right for us. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't too speculative, but we were dominated possession, having a few shots on goal. Uh, our best chance, I think, fell to Mohamed El Nene. He was about um, about six yards out, and he could have put it into the back end. Now, unfortunately, he really scuffed his shot. And Nene had a few good chances today, which he put high and wide over the bar. But we really didn't look convincing in terms of finishing. Our finishing has been appalling over the past couple of months. We just don't look like a team that is scoring. Going out into that second half, Watford punished us almost immediately, about five minutes in. Igalo getting the goal. Poor defending from us. We was back to goal, turns round, and is allowed to put it past David Ospina, criminal defending that. And then about 10, 20 minutes later, uh, their number 17, I'm not going to try and pronounce his name because it was rather difficult, Guedib Mora, I've definitely got that wrong, but an absolute peach of an effort. Troy Deeney laying it off with some fantastic hold-up play. I think he was up against Mertzacker in this instance, playing it into their number 17, who fires it past David Ospina, sublime finish. And at 2-0, the game is essentially lost the way I see it, given the way we were playing. We didn't look like scoring, didn't look like getting back into the game. And at that point... We bought three substitutions in the names of uh, Fia Walcott, Alex Awobi and Danny Welbeck. Three substitutions and it almost felt identical to when we lost 1-0 to Blackburn a couple of seasons ago, courtesy of a Kazim, um, Colin Kazim Richards goal. What a day that was and it felt exactly like that today as well. I mean, obviously Watford is certainly a respectable opposition, a lot more respectable than Blackburn were at the time, but this felt almost identical. I mean, it was um, it was really, really 
Uh, strange how Wenger almost left it to the point that we'd lost the game to bring on these substitutions. Walcott had little to no impact. Danny Welbeck and Awobi were the two players that had quite a substantial impact. But we bought off Joel Campbell and Mohamed Onene. I couldn't understand that one. Those were the two players that you know kind of were the bright sparks for Arsenal in this game. Danny Welbeck gets a late goal back for us. A fantastic finish for him. The only one that looked to get things going and had a chance later on to make it 2-2. But unfortunately, wasn't able to take it. Skied it over the bar. And we've left the game with a two on the feet at home to Watford. Now, you can't win the FA Cup every season. Uh, to win it two times on the bounce is a fantastic achievement in itself. But the fact of the matter is, it's Watford at home. We should be beating them. This is our only chance against some silverware at this point in the season. And after two seasons filled with promise, we're back to a typical season of mediocrity, which is something that we've come to expect over the past decade. It now looks like it's going to be 12 seasons in a row where we haven't won the Barclays Premier League title. This was our best chance to do it. We could have been looking at a double, an easy double this season, but we've absolutely ruined it. Um, and I don't really want to talk about it anymore. So get your thoughts on this in the comments box below. Please do like this video. If you have enjoyed it, subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV if you're new to the channel and I'll be speaking to you soon.